So if I told you TJ Watt was a freak of nature, it would probably be less of a surprise to people than sending out a PSA telling them that the sky was blue, or that Tuesday is the day that follows Monday. I mean, last game alone, he was destroying the Ravens single-handedly by getting the game-winning sack through what was supposed to be a double team, of course 43, not the best blogger, he scooped up a fumble and stiff-armed Lamar Jackson, he also deflected a pass at the line of scrimmage, and even invented a new style of pass breakup where you drop back into coverage and if the receiver's trying to catch the ball, punch him in the face. You heard me, fucking punch him in the face. Just right in the kisser, that'll teach him to try to catch a pass. But what really takes the cake for this game comes on this innocuous play. It's first and 10, the Steelers are gonna blitz five and the guard is gonna pick up the wrong person leaving an opening for the middle linebacker wide enough to make the Grand Canyon talk a little flirtatious to it. And I just know that Neil was thinking, wow, this is gonna be the easiest sack of my life just to get cut off by TJ motherfucking what like the average new boot on a brand new 25% APR charger that they just bought yes TJ Watt who came off the edge getting blocked made it to the quarterback faster than a linebacker who came in scot-free down the middle that's how crazy this dude is so just a little appreciation for the Steelers defensive end